Father, God of our forefathers, the God who made this nation great because it followed you and your precepts, hear our prayer. You blessed us and we became a blessing to others right around the globe. But now we have turned away from you. We have defied what you decreed and our sins have brought your judgment on us. Tearing apart your laws, doing what is right in our own eyes and following secular humanism have removed your protective hand and made us vulnerable to their enemy. Society is plagued by violence and crime. Tolerance and acceptance of differences have turned from blessing into a curse. Now foreign religions, lack of free speech, fear of riots and terrorism threaten to erode the security and freedom that comes from our much-valued democracy. O oh Lord, have mercy and cause your true church to be united and become your voice again. We pray for our Christian members of Parliament to boldly advocate transparency, integrity and compassion in politics, finance, banking and the media. Help us to replace materialism and consumerism with charity by showing compassion to the many innocent victims and those in need. We are deeply troubled by much family breakup and the many neglected children who try to make up for lost love and security by turning to sex, drugs and alcohol. We repent and pray that laws on easy divorce, abortion and same-sex marriage will be changed to again reflect your decrees. We pray that we will learn once more to respect the boundaries you, O oh God, have set for our own safety and survival. Remove apathy and animosity towards the good news as the country is being shaken, split and thrown into disarray. Father, by the power of your Holy Spirit, bring conviction and draw many back to you, to Christians and to your church. Open a floodgate of repentance so that your judgment will be stayed. Bring restoration and healing so that this nation which has fallen from greatness will rise again, be blessed and be a blessing to the world once more. Amen. <laughs>